post-traumatic portrayal of nativity and post-colonial cultural hegemony in Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart. This article is written by Muhammad Ilaz. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study contributes to the post-colonial literature studies by presenting a traumatic portrayal of the nativity in the context of cultural hegemony. It discusses how Chinua Achebe claims the abysmal dismissal of African nativity by the Western culture and religion. This study makes a traumatic portrayal of the ideology of cultural hegemony, being a part of post-colonial literature studies. Chinua Achebe recounts the state of African clans by the British imperial and colonial powers, exploiting the native Africans for materialistic gain, annihilating their culture religion and customs in the name of humanitarian agenda of the whites. A situation arises in Chinua Achebe's Things Fall Apart in which things fall apart because the protagonist fails at the end to regain the culture all people shared once. The whites have destroyed the fabric of African society, and subjugated an inferior native culture under a superior western one. Chinua Achebe witnessed abysmal dismissal of the African nativity being replaced by a foreign culture, a new religion, new traditions and new values. This paper examines how the white colonizers wove a cultural hegemony around the natives with the aim of establishing their colonial domination over them. The white man does this all, not by using military force but by luring the tribesmen and the colonized clans to drift away from their native faith and values. The invaders use the clan's own traditions against the clan in order to procure a permanent establishment for them in the village. The findings of this study reveal a binary cultural hegemony showing both consent and resistance for white man's dominance. Thanks for watching this video of International Journal of English Language and Literature Studies Volume 9 Issue Number 2.